They wanted me to talk to him really to be able to ask lots of questions and also have him kind of prep me and explain what would happen if I like went into labor tonight, like what the chances that my babies could even live. With her in the 1%, is she still developing normal? Like is her brain okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another update. You guys have really been loving uh, the updates, so I just thought, let's do another one. If you're new here, my name is Heather. I'm pregnant with twins. I'm in week, what is this, 24 now? And if you missed some of my past videos, a really quick up to date is that my babies are really small. I am currently on bed rest, minus the few times a day I can sit up and I'm using that time to film this video. And trying to eat a lot of protein and de-stress. I'm actually now on a medical leave from work, at least until my next growth scan to see if they're growing because little girl was measuring in the one percentile, little boy in the 12th percentile at my last appointment, which they've been going down over the course of my growth scans. So one of the things they wanted me to do was meet with a neonatologist, neonatal doctor. I wanna share what he had to say. They wanted me to talk to him really to be able to ask lots of questions and also have him kind of prep me and explain what would happen if I like went into labor tonight, like what the chances that my babies could even live. Let me tell you, what, how that went. So if our babies are born early, which most likely they will be, and most likely will be in the NICU. He is the chief of the NICU at the hospital, chief ne neonatal doctor at the hospital that we will be delivering at. He's basically like, I have my OB and my high risk OB that I am seeing a ton right now. Once those babies are out, which it'll be through C-section because my babies have severe IUGR, um, they're under 10%, well, little boy is 12%, but they're both being diagnosed with severe IUGR. Babies that little can't withstand the stress of labor, even if they were in the right position to try to give an, uh, do a natural birth, they won't do that, they can't survive. So it's a C-section, which I'm fine with. I figured it would be that anyways, because it was twins, so whatever. So once babies are born, then it becomes neonatal. I mean, NICU is neonatal intensive care unit. So my biggest question to him was, are my babies viable yet? And he said if they were born tonight, their chances of living would be one in three. That is for the little boy. He said the little girl, well, he said actually little girl would probably be the same. Usually actually girls have a better chance of living if they were both equal weights, but because she is so severely small, it kind of it evens them out. So they'd both be like a one in three chance of surviving if they were born right now. But every week, so basically like every Sunday, it kind of resets that their chance of survival goes up by 10%. So he is like, get yourself through day by day. I met with him when I was in week 23, but so he's like, if you get yourself to week 25, that would be a great milestone for you. That's 20% more likely of a chance of them living. And of course, after that, every day, you know, he said is fantastic. A day in me is two days in NICU. And at this rate, when they're still so small and it's still, I'm 24, Four weeks like that's so early to give birth so every single day counts he said if I can get myself at least to 28 weeks that is great like we can totally handle that um, and I said that still sounds so early and so small he said it is early and small as long as they keep growing at the rate they're growing even though they are behind their gestational age as long as they're not like all of a sudden being stunted in growth by the time we get to 28 weeks he said you know he's pretty confident that they can keep them alive, keep them growing in the NICU. The one big positive about this is usually there's either one, something wrong with the placenta or the blood flow through the umbilical cord. So that's where the issue comes with a lot of small babies is that they're, something is wrong. They're not getting the blood flow that they need. So they're not getting the nutrients and the oxygen that they need and it's stunting their growth. But he said, it could just be that I have small babies. It's twins. My body is just giving as much as it can to the two of them. And I just might be 
building small babies and that's the favorable one. He wants that to be the case. So my last growth scan appointment, they did check at least a little girl's umbilical cord blood flow and they said there was nothing concerning. We'll find out in a couple weeks how they're doing. But because they are small and because I'm otherwise healthy, he thinks the chance of me actually being able to carry the babies longer is more favorable because your uterus, when it's full, whether it's one baby or two, and it's tapped out, that's when it's like, okay, we're done here, we're going into labor. So if I had two like big twins, I'd be going into labor probably a lot sooner than if I have two little twins that are taking up less space, more of a chance that I can go a little bit longer, as long as there's no additional you know, complications, and as long as the cerclage surgery that I had to have a few weeks ago holds up fine. But as far as some of the other questions I asked, like with her in the 1%, is she still developing normal? Like is her brain okay? And he says as far as he can see from all my reports and scans, everything looks fine. Like she's proportionate. There's no like heart, stomach, bladder, brain deficiencies that he can see. There's no reason to think that like her brain isn't also developing along with the rest of her. And another big question I had was, is there just like an average of when a twin mom with severe IUGR babies goes into labor? Just, is there like a range? Like, should I prep for 28 weeks in four weeks to deliver my babies? Should I prep for like 32, 35? And I've asked all my doctors this and he had the same response, which is like, you just don't know. He's like, I could tell you, you know, 28 weeks or 30 weeks and you could be like panicking and make it to 37 weeks pregnant with twins. Like there's no, there's no answer. He's like, sorry, I know that's frustrating. He's like, really just don't, it's really not gonna be beneficial for me to think of it that way. Just think like every day counts, every week is a milestone for me at this point. Like I said, in two weeks, I go in for another growth scan. And then at that point, if something is looking like they're still so small, I'll start going in every week. Um, or twice a week for monitoring. And at that point, we'll talk about like steroid shots, things like that, if they are starting to really fall behind. Because actually twin babies are should be kind of measuring the same as normal babies up to the third trimester, and then twin babies start to kind of slow down. That's when they should be starting to trend smaller. So we're, <laughs> we're just behind in general right now. And then the other big thing I wanted to know if I'd be able to hold them, like if there's a cutoff or a weight limit for when they're born, a lot of times if they're just born early, they have to be rushed off to the NICU and the mom can't even like touch them or see them or something if it's crazy. And obviously if it's that dire of a situation, that is the priority. But um, they said he is a humongous proponent of skin on skin for mom and dad and um, breastfeeding as soon as possible. If they're born really early, they usually give them 72 hours, he said, because otherwise they get so overstimulated that it's really bad for them. Within 72 hours, he tries to make sure mom and dad get skin on skin time with the babies and they try to supplement their feeding with mother's milk as soon as they're able to. So that's great, that's what we want. And those are really the big things that they touched on. He's like, it's, I just want you to feel like you can come to me with any more questions that come up and just feel informed because this is a scary situation and it's so case by case. Hopefully that was good information for you if you're going through this. Um, just know that this, like, it's really tough, it's so hard. This has been really hard for me. Like this past week I have been really sad like i'm just trying to be really aware of the fact that i feel really like depressed about this and alec knows and like my family and just trying to stay as positive as i can mentally but also being okay with the fact that it's okay to be sad right now too okay my camera died and i'm just i'm not gonna go wait for it to charge to finish this up that is the end of my update thank you guys for caring so much about me and these babies and i will be sure to keep you updated i'm also trying to keep my instagram like more updated with things just that i'm doing to help them grow i mean it's bed rest it's not that exciting i'm having to rearrange my whole vlog plan schedule because i'm like a day in the life bed rest edition doesn't quite sound that entertaining to film or for you guys to watch so We'll figure it out. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. One way or another, we'll have our two videos a week. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet, but we'll figure it out. All right guys, see you on the next one. Bye.